Data from Rent.com shows the average for a two-bedroom in Dallas has jumped up 46% from last year. Other cities like Grapevine and Grand Prairie are seeing even bigger rent increases. Fox News' Lynn Ann Wynn joins us live with a look at how much more DFW renters are paying. Lynn Ann. Yeah, Clarice, right now the average rent for a two bedroom in Dallas sits around $2,100 a month. Experts we spoke to say there's a lot of factors driving up the rent across the Metroplex. The apartment market in DFW, we have the highest rent, we've had the highest rent increases of anywhere in the country in the last year in, DF, in DFW as a whole. Renters in the Metroplex have steadily been paying more and more for years. But since the pandemic, realtors and apartment locators are noticing even steeper rent increases. It's insane. The rental market here is equally as crazy, if not crazier, than the sales market. We saw supplies, whether it's lumber, gla glass, etc., labor, Everything is short, and so because of that, people are having to charge more, which again, that's the new market. According to Rent.com, the average rent for a one-bedroom in Dallas has jumped 20% in the past year. Nearly every other city in the Metroplex has also seen a significant jump. Rents for one-bedrooms in Grapevine have jumped up 44%, and in Grand Prairie, 55%. The costs have gone up significantly for developers. Land acquisition is probably 35 to 40 percent higher than it was a year and a half ago. The supplies are probably 50 to 60 percent more expensive than they were even a year ago. And then the labor, a historic shortage of labor, means that they have to go and make their money up somewhere. Dallas County appraisal district officials say more supply is on the way. There's more apartments under construction in the DFW area right now than anywhere else in the country. But if you're looking for a break on rent, you may be waiting a long time. It's a really tough time to be a renter. It's a really tough time to be a realtor. So I think it's just a very classic case of economics 101 with supply and demand where thankfully the demand is substantially higher than the supply. And according to rent.com, only one of the cities monitored saw a consistent drop in rent. DeSoto saw rents drop across the board for studios to three bedrooms.